Here with Blaze coach Danny Stewart after the win against the Nottingham Panthers. Uh, Danny, a dramatic end to a dramatic week. Um, what were your thoughts on the game? Yeah, f phenomenal effort by those guys. I mean, uh, down a few bodies and just resiliency. That's all I can really put it down to. You know, these guys, you know, we, we, we stressed our D defending better than they had all year and our forwards buying in a little bit more and managing the puck and getting to those dirty areas. And uh, But, you know, at the end of the day, the... The structural things isn't what won us a hockey game tonight. It was it was those guys leaving everything on the ice, and um, I'm I'm pleased for them. And boy, did we need that one tonight. It was a was it most, one of the most challenging weeks for you as a head coach with the departures. We've got a couple of arrivals. There was the way Sunday's game went, which I think everyone wants to forget. Mm. Yeah, it was a very busy week, and it was it was challenging. But uh, you know what? That's sport. It can be cruel sometimes, and uh, you know what? We got a good group in there, and. Uh, the key for us is to, to put our heads down and, and work our way through it. And uh, I think you've seen signs of it tonight. And I thought we played a good game yesterday as well. Um, we, 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 we certainly weren't bad in Fife last night, but, uh, you know, a couple of mistakes and they, they they capitalized. And, you know, I thought Miro, you know, certainly in the second there when it was, I think it was 2-0 two, two at that point, and he, he made that kind of post-to-post -post save with his glove. And those are the types of saves you need to, to win hockey games. And, you know, that keeps it at 2-0, and then we pull it back. And um, But, you know, resilient, and, you know, the power play was good tonight. I thought we actually deserved more than what we got. I thought we moved it around. It's the best, you know, most threatening, I think, it looked all year. And our PK was phenomenal phenomenal as well so um very positive signs but again you know those things contribute but it was down to those guys just working their socks off the uh, the game winning and the game tying goals came from uh, Nikolai Brunisven and Justin Hashi they looked like they stood on their heads tonight but considering we're short on D after Lewis retired yeah and, and we needed that you know sometimes you need those special special performances against you know certainly a team like Nottingham um, and, and and with the roster that we're icing right now and um you know we are short but you know we said before the game, we don't want to feel like victims. You know, it was a tough week for us, but, you know, we don't want to hang our heads and feel sorry for ourselves. You know, it, it is what it is. And we still got enough in there that if we play the right way, limit our mistakes and, and capitalize on our chances, we can still win hockey games. And, uh, you know, I'm glad it happened because it proved to them that we can still do that. And, um, you know, we'll have some news this week on, on a player signing 100% and, and hopefully too. Well, they announced one in the rink, uh, Tom Flodqvist, the uh, the Swedish right shot forward, uh, coming to the team for next weekend, I assume. Danny, tell us about him. Yeah, uh, energy guy, um, you know, works all over the ice, but uh, right-handed guy, can play center, can play the wing, but uh, shoots the puck very well. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he's not having the best of seasons at where he was this season, but uh, in the past he's, he's a proven scorer, point producer, and, uh, you know, I think he, he's going to make us better in all areas. There's some footage online. He looks like he thrives on the power play. Yeah, no, he's very, very good, very good shot off the pass. Um, you know, right-handed guy, you know, you know, similar to maybe like a Petrus, you know, and I think we've we've missed that a little bit this year. And uh, so, you know, it ticks a box there. But uh, I think, you know, just, you know, playing that, that Lesvenskin League is a very good good level of play. And, uh, you know, to, to be a, a consistent performer at that level and, uh, you know, it shows his, his uh, quality and I, I think he'll be, he'll be a good player for us. And you mentioned another signing. Is that in uh, in defence to replace Trey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're hopeful. Um, nothing guaranteed yet, but we're hopeful, and uh, um, so we'll hope to get something in place for next weekend. You know, we're we're doing our best to put that in place. I don't think it's fair to these guys to keep running them out and short them short on bodies and um, and key bodies at that. You know what I mean? We we had enough bodies, but you know, credit to Dylan Forbesy, Dominic. They all stepped up tonight. You know, V played a great game on the PK. You know, he got some PP. To, time tonight as well and you know you got to give credit to those guys they they get the extra minutes with the lack of bodies and you know they 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 up their game as well and that contributes so you know just a uh, everyone everyone well-rounded performance thank you danny yeah, thanks,